well, already a contender in all the big awards races. The new drama, One Night in Miami, is a fictional take on the historic meeting of four Black icons, Malcolm X, Sam Cooke, Jim Brown, and Cassius Clay, played by Eli Gore. Watch this. It's going to be a target on your back. It was going to be there anyway. This ain't about civil rights. Those activists ain't too squat about them four little girls that got bombed in Alabama. That's why they're preaching to a deaf congregation, because they ain't giving black people what they really want. What's that? What you have, but take for granted. Power. And Eli joins me now. Eli, oh my God, I love this movie so much. A lot of people are wondering if this night really happened. Um, and it did. The four of these men were friends. Um, and they did meet up that night years ago in Miami. So tell us about, you know, the real life situation and a little bit about the movie. What happened that night? Uh, we don't know for sure. Only Jim Brown is the only one who's still alive. And so he would be the only one who could actually say 100%. But, um, but this was something that we put together to have a discussion that we felt was important um, regarding issues to do with uh, Black culture, with uh, society in general, and just with the humanity uh, of these men. So <laughs> you take on the role of Cassius Clay, who you know, most of the world knows as Muhammad Ali. And as you say, in this film, we see him, you know, about to make that decision, right? Um, to join the Nation of Islam and become Muhammad Ali in name. How did you prepare for this role? For me, this was a dream role. It was something I'd actually wanted to do even before I got this film. I had auditioned for another film um, that Ang Lee was doing about Muhammad Ali. And um, I'd gotten very close. I tested with Ang and, and I didn't get it. When I found out I didn't have the role, I kind of had a choice to make that I could just move on or I could um, you know, decide, I think they're gonna do other films about Cassius Clay. I think he's a, the type of figure where there'll be other opportunities and I could prepare um, for another opportunity that might come. And so, um, you know, in faith, I started preparing and I, I hired a dialect coach, I hired a personal trainer, I hired boxing coaches, any show that I was on like Riverdale or any other show, I would tell the writers that I was trying to um, work on this character and if they could incorporate boxing, you know, and they and a lot of times they did. And then a year or so later, a friend of mine told me that Regina was casting for One Night in Miami and, you know, everything worked out, which was pretty cool. This is the great Regina King's directorial debut. What was it like working with her? Phenomenal. She's a real master of the craft. You know, she's one of the great actresses. And what I was mostly surprised about was how well the technical side of directing, you know, her ability to pick the right DOPs and, and the color treatments and, the you know, all the wardrobes and the set decks and the post. She just, she really has a full understanding of what she wants to do and how to make her vision come through uh, to fruition. And um, yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a wonderful experience. Does it make a difference to have uh, an actor, um, you know, or a director who has some acting experience themselves? Do you think huge, that, that matters? Huge yeah, huge difference. Cause whenever <laughs> you're doing things that aren't, um, you know, that you're trying to force things or manufacture moments or, you know, build up emotion, she could see through all that. And she would just be like, don't do that. Just, you know, listen, ground yourself, hear what they're giving to you, use the words that you have and give it back to them. And if you do that authentically, the moments will happen. And that was one of the big lessons that I learned on the set. Well, I have to ask, how are you gonna deal with the Oscar situation? Are you gonna, is it all gonna be <laughs> virtual? What are you gonna wear on the, <laughs> on the screen? <laughs> I have no idea how that's all gonna go. God willing, we get nominated. And um, you know, just the fact that people are just enjoying the film, that people are talking about the film, that's all you can really ask as an artist and, and I'm just, I'm really happy about it. But, um, you know, I'll definitely have, have some drip if it's, uh, if it's appropriate. <laughs> some drip, I love it, I love it. Well, I wanna let everybody know that you can catch One Night in Miami streaming on Prime Video right now. Eli, congratulations on everything and thank you for your time. Thank you so much, take care.